So here I am just walking out at about 10.30 in, at nighttime in the largest city in Sumatra, otherwise known as Sumatera. A lot of interesting things going on here. You know, I, I think I talked about in another video just the infrastructure and it's not, you know, because you can see this in more developed countries, right? You see, you know, just wires all over the place. And it's, again, it's, it's not just in developing countries. You have the same problem in California. Um, before I talk about that, let's take a look at the, uh, this is a Christian cemetery. Really interesting. Um, one of the other byproducts of uh, colonization is that, you know, you divide people based on religion. So cemeteries are divided, divided, even if there's no church uh, in sight. The reason for that is because a lot of the problems that happened before, the riots, racial conflicts, the way that these governments try to solve them is by saying, right, we didn't know who was who before. You know, whether it was because of foreign infiltration, we just didn't know. So now what we're gonna do is have a situation where you have um, somebody coming in and classifying you as Protestant, Catholic, and so on and so forth. Uh, again, digital infrastructure, you see it down there as well. So you have problems coming in, and so because of those problems in the past, you also have a situation where you're trying to fix the problem by making, by catering to different groups based on their, again, uh, religious or racial characteristics in order to serve them better than you did in the past. Obviously, if you had racial characteristics, um, conflict in the past, religious conflicts, the idea is you can make it better. But I, along with a lot of Westerners, don't think this is necessarily the best approach. But again, if you look at colonization, it was better than what happened before. And that, in many cases, is the solution, temporarily, uh, at least even 60, 70 years after colonization, after the occupiers have left. And I was having a conversation the other day where, um, you know, I was talking about having a disability and I was saying that the best disability is the one that's temporary. And the problem with colonization is that you see that it may be something that's temporary, but it's still something that lasts an entire lifetime, at least one generation. Um, so that's something to think about when you're evaluating a lot of these countries uh, because in California, one of the reasons that you have wild, you know, wildfires so much is because of a similar issue. And you notice that Indonesia has a lot of natural disasters, tsunamis and so on, but you, know, you don't necessarily have the same level of wildfires that you have even in a de developed, highly developed economy like California. Part of that is because labor is cheaper here. You can, have, you can pay somebody to sit around and watch the wires. Um, there's also an informal communication network that works. You know, somebody sees something, they say something, they know who to talk to if they live here, and it goes up and down the chain quickly as opposed to uh, through a lawyer or a legal team that is more concerned with uh, liability than getting the job done. So again, it took me a long time to figure these things out. You know, because originally when I would go to a developing country, I would say, what's going on, you know? Um, I, I, did nev I never assumed that people were necessarily, you know, lazier or whatnot. I was just thinking to myself, why is it this way? Given that, assuming everyone's equal and has equal desires, why is it this way? And you have a, such a complex combination of factors, revenue, inadequate revenue, um, decisions that, you know, are not necessarily made for the long term, a lack of zoning, which means that you might have a beautiful home. Like behind me would be would be a million dollar home anywhere else um, in a big city in the west. Um, but you know it's on a, on a major street, so you know you have a lot of inconsistencies. In the, you know, it was a, <laughs> out here, and that's something you want to think about because in some ways that is the um, the benefit of being in a place this big that is still, in a human sense, if countries were humans. It's still growing. And that's one of the reasons why it is fun to come here as opposed to a place like Paris or Stockholm, which may look the same 10 years from now compared to today.